Mike Tyson in 2003 was declared broke after making over $300 million in, the, in his boxing career. The question is, how come? How did he spend it? How did he manage such amount of money that he had to go broke in year 20, 2003? I think that is the question. Anyone who wants to be financially free in life should ask him or herself. And in this video, I'll be talking about what went wrong. Because in the pathway to financial freedom, there are three M's you must know. Number one is making more money. Number two is managing money. Number three is multiplying money. Those are the three M's of financial freedom, pathway to financial freedom. When we talk about financial intelligence, when we talk about financial information, that is the three M's, major M's. Any other thing falls into these three categories. So we want to talk about one out of it. So what is it that Mike Tyson got wrong? And many people are still making that mistake till today. That's why you see some people, they go broke. So many footballers, so many government workers, civil servants, after they have retired, they go broke. What happened? The money they made in their active years, where did they go to? Some of them will now be waiting for gratuity. And when government is not forthcoming, they are more or less to begging. They start begging. How can you avert this? How can you prevent this from happening to you? I want to say, fine, people talk about making money, making money. But making money without knowing how to manage money is, we end up as a disaster. One will end up as a disaster if you know how to make money, but you don't know how to manage money. Go and check. Go and research. History has it. Even till now. Politicians, when they are there, they, some of them they are, have money, but immediately they leave that position. What happens to them? Because they don't know how to manage money. So please, on your path to financial freedom, the first thing you need to learn, any other thing in secondary, is how to manage money. You need to know how to deal with, let me say this, in life. In your financial life, you have income and you have expenses. I see this as production. What brings in money? And this as consumption. The moment you fail to know how to undo this, this aspect of consumption, that whatever comes into your way, you spend it, that at the end of the month, if for instance you are collecting you are receiving $10,000 and at the end of the month, you are at zero level or even you have now even gone into borrowing. Then it means something is wrong, which means even if you are earning $1 million or $1 million, sincerely, it's of no use. It's of no relevance. Why? Because you don't know how to manage money. You fail to deal with your consumption. And managing your money has to do with majorly. You need to know these three things. Number one is saving money. Number two is budgeting money. Number three is protecting money. In the case of Mike Tyson, you will know that he did not save. For him to have declared for bankruptcy, it means he did not save. It means he did not budget his money. It means he did not protect his money. The question is, are you protecting your money? Are you budgeting your money? Are you saving your money? You are not sincerely you are at risk which means you have to work throughout your life this is very important saving your money budgeting your money and protecting your money you need to know how to save you need to discipline it's a it's a culture some people will say, hey, if you put your money in your bank, uh, inflation will eat it up. It's not about the aspect of inflation. We are talking about having a culture of saving, inculcating that culture of saving. Because if you don't do that sincerely, which means everything that comes in, you spend. Everything that comes, you waste. At the end, you will not be able to show anything from him. So before you go to this, you can see there are many ways of making money. We can talk about tons of ways of making money, multiple streams of income, but that will be completely irrelevant. It will not be useful to you if you don't understand this second aspect, which is managing money. 
understanding your consumption. And in this class, we'll be talking about all these aspects one after the other. But what many people go and learn online is just how to make money. But I'm telling you, I haven't been in the industry for a while and I've, I've been a victim myself. So I'm not, tell, I'm not talking theory here. I've been a victim of impulse buying. I've been a victim of um, splurging anyhow, wasting money. Before I came to realize, I came to learn my lesson that I need to first know this. And I can tell you that this took me time. This took me time, knowing how to manage money, because it's first of all a mindset. The moment you fail to deal with that mindset, that you need to have the mindset of saving, you need to know the mindset of budgeting so that you can deal with your consumption. And you need to know how to protect your money. Protecting your money from those that will want to take it from you. Those who want to, to give them emotionally. They spend their money, they, spend, uh, they waste their own money. And at the end, they come to you, expecting you to pay for their house rent, expecting you to pay for their children's school fees, while you yourself, you have your own needs. It took me time. You need to know how to budget your money as well. Budget! Your income must always be more than your expenses. The moment your income is equal to your expenses, that means it's a recipe for disaster. So people collect salary. The moment they are not paid their salary, at the end of that month, they are in trouble. They have to resolve to borrowing. Don't let that happen to you. And if it has been happening to you, you need to stop it. You need to find a way out. And that's why you need to stay con stick to this channel so that you can learn how to manage your money. We'll also be talking about how to make money. It's important. But you first of all need to know this. It is called... Live staying within your means, within your means, while you work on increasing your means. Staying within your means, which means managing your current level, while you work on increasing your means. If you find it how to manage ten thousand dollars or hundred thousand naira, you I can bet it with you. You will find it hard to manage one million naira. You will find it hard to manage one million dollars. Which means the same way you spend, you waste ten thousand dollars. That's the same way you will spend, you will waste one million dollars. Because there's something called Parkinson law. It's a law. Parkinson law, which means more resources equals to what? More spending. The more the resources, the more you spend. It's a law. So if you are not deliberate about your spending, if you are not deliberate about managing your money sincerely, what happened to my tarizin will definitely happen to you. We are just using him as a case study. Do you understand? So please, because we have so many people now, their issue is not money, it's not making more money. You have seen many musicians, you have seen many footballers, you have seen many athletes, who went broke at the end of their career because there's something called active years. Active years. The years you are agile, you are working, you can produce income. And your passive years, when you are old, you can no longer work like before. When you retire, you need to prepare for these days. You need to prepare for these days, don't forget. If you, don't, if you fail to prepare for these days in these years, Sincerely, it will be another story. So just like I said, in our coming videos, I will be releasing one video per week on finance. Stick to this channel as I will be releasing one video per week as regards how to manage our money. At the, and then we now move to how to maintain, how to make more money, sorry, and how to multiply money. Do you understand? So... If this, videos are, if this video has helped you in one way or the other, kindly click on the thumbs up, on the like button, and subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I release a new video. So we meet in our next video. Stay blessed.